I find that sometimes I want to start with an image to make a 3D model, but 3D modeling products usually only take in something called SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics Format. Well, Google Docs, Google Drive, has a special feature in Google Drawings that lets you export SVG. So let's start with a new drawing, and I'll show you how I do this. First, I insert the image that I want to use as my basis, my trace. So I'm going to pull in an image of a butterfly so I can trace it and then export that as SVG format. So I insert my image after renaming the document, of course. I go to my Google Drive, find the image that I want, and I'll pull in this image of the butterfly. Now that butterfly is just going to take over my whole frame, but that's fine. I can ignore the background. I'm just going to be tracing on top of that image using one of the line tools. So I choose the curve tool, the curve tool in this case, because I'm tracing over curves of the butterfly's wings. And I don't have to change the pen color, but I could if it's easier to see over the image. I'm just tracing on top of this image. And you can see that I'm tracing around the wings, creating curves, and that will form the trace that I will use to export SVG and then import it into my 3D modeling product where I can create an object that looks like this butterfly. Sometimes it's just easier to start with the image, but you can't do this in your 3D modeling products in most cases. So I create that trace. You can see now I have a butterfly shape. I can delete the background image now. I don't need that anymore. So I use my select tool, select the image and delete it. And then I go to export this shape under file. I say download as, and I choose scalable vector graphics format, which is SVG, and that gets exported. Now I go into my 3D modeling product, in this case, Autodesk 123D Designer. And in 123D Designer, there's a feature to import SVG. So I say new, import SVG as sketch, and then I can take that sketch in, now, in that SVG file, in this case, there were some um, outline lines that I will delete. So I'm deleting those lines, so I'm left with just the butterfly. And then I can use that as my sketch to extrude. First, I'll scale it down. And once I scale it, it'll fit into the workspace. I'll fit it into my viewport. And then I can extrude it. Now, this will give me the foundation of something that will become an object. Once I fit it into my viewport, I can see the whole thing and it's too big and you can see my measurements on the side, so I'll shrink it down and then I will extrude it. After extruding it, I will have an object and I can delete that sketch. The extrusion is quite simple. I'll extrude it by just using the construct extrude command, extrude it by 10 millimeters and there I have got my final object and I can do whatever I want with that object. I can change it. I can put antenna on it. I can change the curves around the outside, modify it any way I want. But now I've got my object from an image.